You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Johnson versus Milford. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Johnson, you claim the defendant who has a child with your first cousin is your son, Kieris' biological father. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you say Mr. Milford's done nothing for Kieris and you've dragged him to court to prove he is the father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Milford, you don't believe Mr. Johnson is your son. Your claim is that you perform police actions with air defense artillery while in the Army, which exposed you to radiation, making it impossible for you to have more children. Am yes, I correct? Yes. So, Ms. Johnson, what has Mr. Milford done for your son? He's done nothing for my, for my son, Your Honor. He didn't come to the hospital. Nothing? Nothing at all. Explain. He never came to the hospital when my son was born. Anything I needed for my son, Mr. Milford never provided anything. Mr. Milford only came by to see me. He didn't come see my son. 26 years old? 26 years old. I have two sons by Mr. Milford. Your Honor, he never told me she was pregnant. I did. He always told me she had a tumor. I'm sleeping with you. How would you think it's a tumor? She told me she had a tumor. How would you think it's a tumor if she I'm said, sleeping with you I'm the whole time? Did you now. know at this point that he had a child with your cousin as well? Yes, I did. At what point did you find out you were pregnant? I, I actually knew I was pregnant. I didn't tell anybody. When? She told I was me like was five tumor. months, five or six months. So when you found out you were pregnant, he says you told him it was a tumor. No, yeah. that never happened. Oh, I hadn't even been no to the way. doctor, so how can I say it's a tumor when I didn't she go to the doctor? Gave me, she never, never told me when the birthdays were coming. When She never gave me a sonogram. What she saying just don't add so, up. So, Ms. Johnson, you get pregnant. Do you say to him, Dwayne, Mr. Wilford, I have something to tell you. I'm pregnant. Do you ever have a conversation? Yes, I did. And how did that he conversation kept asking go? He me, was I pregnant? But he said, I told him it was a tumor. But why are you asking me if I'm pregnant if you think I have a tumor? Because I figured you lied. So when he asked you, what did you say? At first, I told him no. Okay. But then I told him, yes, I was pregnant. Why did you tell him no at first? Because I was scared. I was young. I was scared. I, I already had two children. I didn't want to be pregnant again. I've been actually dating Dwayne since I was 17 with my second son, that, which is not his. I end up getting pregnant with Key Evans later. Now, Mr. Milford, when she finally told She told, told me you... she was seven months pregnant when she told me. So she said, and I'm seven months. Yeah. At that moment, did you have instant doubt or did you think... It was well, instant maybe... doubt. I snuck to her house and knocked on the door. Her so what, you a ninja? Her sister knocked... <laughs> her sister answered the door. Her sister one year younger than her. I said, what's that? And she said, she in the back room. I said, in the back room with who? With a man. Yeah, I slept with other so, people. I sure, said, I did. I said, I said, well, just tell us that man must be the baby daddy. And no one ever... Because that conversation business. never happened. That never happened. And I went on about my business. He come to my house and asked me, can he see his son? Oh, wait. Back up. When you saw him, did you say, oh, wow, that could be my son? No. no. Oh, you didn't? But you no. used to sit and rock him and scold I mean, him for hours? Yeah. No, I had yeah. my... I had my... I had... You, the way you I came to my house... Every, have two children how did that get I pregnant with Kimande if I didn't want to steal them sleeping with you? You came to my house. was sleeping with me then. All right. We Ms. did. Johnson, Mr. Milford, I want to hear from Kiaris. Mr. Johnson, I, I feel for you sitting here. I mean, listening to this go back and forth. You've been hearing this all your life. This has been the confusion you've lived in for 26 years? Yes, Your Honor. Were you told that this man yeah. was your father? At one point, I was. <clears throat> But then I was told he wasn't. You were? Yes. I just, I just don't feel I should be going through this because I didn't ask to be here. And I, I'm just... I don't, I'm, I don't know. Go I'm, ahead, just, I'm real hurt right now because I wish I did have a daddy because I probably wouldn't have been in much trouble as I was and homeless at times and getting taken away and being in group homes. Maybe he was around. Maybe some of that stuff wouldn't happen to me. But he didn't really try to be around. Not that I seen. Ms. Johnson, at one point, Kira says that you told him that Mr. Milford was not his father. Yes. I Is did. that true? Yes, because he told me if I can't, if he couldn't be in my life, he couldn't do anything for my kids. This is how it's like I had to sleep with him to get him to do anything. Lord. So, yeah, I didn't want him to be the father, but I know he is. So I just... He wasn't around. Yeah. Mr. Milford? Yes, look, my mother told me to get this straight before she died. 
So I went down to the DNA place. She didn't show up. This the it third time. It never happened. The when did third that happen? Time. When did it happen? The third time she showed up with the kids and got to argue with the DNA people. And that they, never and, happened. And they ran out the door. When I you, lived in the oh county, my... I was in another relationship. So I was not wait worried about minute, you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You went to try to submit for a DNA test three times. I did three submit three times. Ms. On Johnson, you're order. saying that it never, never happened. It was when a I lived court in order the county, I was in another relationship, and he was not my focus. My children were my focus. So you're saying you never even knew about it? I never knew anything Your about Honor. it. Your Honor, only time I really But if see... you're telling me you can't have kids, why are you trying to do DNA tests if you know for a fact because you can't have children? Because you shouldn't be telling children them lies like that. Why? So look, Your Honor. Why not? I was still sleeping with Every you. Every time I That's look, the point. when she comes she come around, she needed lights on or water on or whatever. And That's you never the had the money. Time. I did not used to cut them on. Yeah, you cut them on. You never yeah. gave me any money to do oh, anything. I mean, and I, I was do. still sleeping with you then, so what do you think? I would do that saying? for anybody that had children. I was still I, sleeping with you that. then. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let me tell you something, y'all. I've been shooting blanks since about 1986. I ain't had no more children. Yeah. We have two children. I, am, I ain't got nothing. There's no other. We have two no children. No children. You are not sleeping blank. From, from, from so since you, I left the military. So you, you believe you're children. sterile. Please explain to me. I, I, I worked in air defense artillery in the military, underneath oh. radars. And it, I got out 84, 83. And I really, I think I was sterile to at least about 89. I was knocking down everything, but nothing coming back. Nobody else had babies. I mean, that's, that's just ridiculous. If you slept with them as much as you slept with me, it might have happened. You're saying you were exposed to radiation. Yes, I was. Which Overseas. you believe, which you believe caused you to be sterile. Right. I had no right. anything. Nobody else came back with nothing. And her own cousin told me that I couldn't be the dad. So. All right. At this time, the court would like to call an independent witness, Ms. Shavella Jones. Jerome, would you please escort her into the courtroom? Sure. I'm bring you up to the witness stand right by the judge. Ms. Jones, welcome. Thank you for being Thank here. Uh, what do you know about this situation? How are you related to what's going on here? I had a baby by him first. I dated him all the way through school. I don't understand how they even went there. Because Ms. Johnson is... My first cousin. Is your first cousin. Correct. Do you believe he's Kiaris's father? Some... Well... No. You don't? No. I don't. She was kind of like a round away girl, okay? When you say she, you mean Ms. Johnson. Correct. She had already had two kids, and then she had him. So when you say you don't think Mr. Milford is Kiaris's father, do you say that because you know that she was intimate with someone else? Yeah, probably about four, yeah, five I people. I was. I was. Yeah. So, Ms. Johnson, you're admitting that during yeah. the time you were intimate with Mr. Yes, Milford... Yes, I'm trying to find somebody to love me, period. I was young. A lot of things had happened in my life, and I wanted somebody to love me. And at the time, this is what he was giving me. He was the one I was consistently sleeping with. I was sleeping with him practically every day. No, no. But now, Ms. Johnson, you do understand, and I know this happened when you were younger, that it's not just about consistency, it's about the window of conception. Meaning, you could sleep with him consistently for a period of time and yet sleep with someone else one time. Yeah. And they could still, in fact, be Kiaris's father. True. But, I mean, I slept with him consistently. I told him... When I told him I was pregnant, Dwayne actually didn't have no doubt when I finally told him I was pregnant. He was happy. And I said then, this is not going to work. You have a baby by my cousin. We shouldn't even be sleeping together. But he always sugarcoated everything and made it seem like it was okay. And see, I fought you. It's your fault. It really is. Because you were eight, her seven you're years. eight years old. I had seen her. her in seven, she was a child. Oh, six, you had years. no business. No business. I didn't even at know all. who she was. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah. All you want, all you I want wanted you to say was a sugar daddy. You didn't you have do anything. Mr. I wouldn't sleep with you, so you wouldn't do nothing for no, the kids. No, no, you, you said it, Mr. Point Milford break. and Miss Miss Johnson. This could go on forever. Mm, mm, mm. I keep giving you all a little leeway <laughs> to see if maybe we could get somewhere. I still don't understand how 
One person can go down for a DNA test three times. I don't understand why you don't just call and say, hey, they're calling me back in again. You want to all go together so we can get this resolved. It it's just happened. a conversation. It never yeah. happened. We never really talked. All we did was have sex most of the time. That's why. Mr. Milford, I'd like to hear from your witness. Please stand, ma'am. State your name for the court. LaBarbara Jones. Ms. Jones, you are... I'm the daughter of Shavella and... Shavella Jones and Dwayne Milford. Do you believe Mr. Johnson is your brother? I don't know if he's my brother or not. I know he's my cousin and I love him. I know this is my father. I know that this whole mess has made us separate. We used to play together, hang out together. I probably was 10 or 11, maybe, like, around that age. You know, we all played together. We had a really close bond at that time as cousins. I think I told my mom I didn't like that being, having to call him brother kept being, like, forced upon me. We didn't even know really about sex then. How are you telling us about brothers, sisters, cousins? You know, we don't, we don't have any idea what to do with that. Yeah. It's even awkward now as an adult. When I introduce, I call him my cousin, and he calls me a sis. So when I go over there, I don't... I never met his girlfriend before, you know, so he's introducing me. He introduced me as his sister. I'm standing there like, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm not gonna correct him, but at the same time, it feels awkward to me because, to, to me, he's my cousin. And Ms. Mr. Johnson, how does this make you feel? I, I see you standing there. I, you know, you're trying to acknowledge Ms. Jones because that's what you've been told, that this is your sister, and yet she says you're her cousin. Yes. It's, it's awkward, but... <clears throat> I was told she's my sister, so I called her my sister. She hurt by all of it, but she started the mess anyway because... I started it because your father that's said something that's to me. That's ridiculous. You shouldn't have... She should have waited. She but your okay. father... And the way was the one told me I was doing the wrong thing by separating them. Because I didn't know what to say. We were cousins. We were never separated. That's so now, no. He said I was not acknowledging who y'all actually were together. And I said, I don't know how to go about this. Just tell him. Now, this is him telling me this. Did you ever you have that conversation? Mr. Milford, did you ever yes, have that conversation? Yes, I did. <laughs> did you ever have that conversation? Never. Yes, you did. Don't know where you live. You never tell me. She never... I had to find out from somebody but else. But you found a way never. to speak with me. You figured that one out. Oh, I... Did. It is obvious to me that you slept with this young girl for a very long time. It's also obvious to me that she probably went to you because after dating her cousin, someone she looked up to... Yeah. Then you start looking over at her... She's a young girl, impressionable, ended up in the bed with you, and now every conversation she says you had with her, you stand in court, Mr. Milford, and you say it never happened. I was working two jobs. I never had no, time for it... all this sex. I don't know where all this sex came from. So I you... had that much sex. We had 15 children. I but never no, had you couldn't have no, done that two. because you were we sterile. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If they, I mean, it just don't make sense. No, this is exactly what I'm saying. None of this makes sense. It baffles me how we can be standing here arguing back and forth between the two of you as to what happened and what didn't happen and what's fictional and what's not when this young man over here is not a piece of fiction. Mm -hmm. He's a person. The story is exhausting. And he's had to live through this for 26 years? Yeah, and then you acknowledge him one minute and the next minute you don't? But, Ms. Johnson, you gotta own up to the fact that you I tell have. him that he's his dad one minute and then when you I try have. to figure I out that you say I he's have. not. I told my son that. I think at this point, the past is the past. Yeah. Correct. What has been done has been done. We cannot change it. What we can change today is the confusion that you've had to live with your entire life. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. I know this is very emotional. If anyone would like to sit down, you're more than welcome. In the case of Johnson versus Milford, 
when it comes to 26-year-old Kiaris Johnson. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Milford, you are not his father. Thank you. Wow. That's... Uh, wow. Mm. I'm sorry, Kiris. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry, sir. Oh. I'm so sorry, Kiris. Mom, I have to ask you. Yeah. Do you have any idea? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Do you know how to find him? Yes. He's the one that stepped up to be his father when Dwayne didn't. I respectfully say to you today, get the test done and let him know for sure. So he has that opportunity in his lifetime to look at a man and say, hey, dad, and know that to be true. Okay. All right? Yes. Family, we have counseling, we have resources for you. I want you to take advantage of it. This has been very difficult, but Ms. Jones, you mind going to give Miss Johnson oh, a hug? No, I, I think I she's been missing cousin. her big cousin. It's been it's been rough. I think she's been really missing your friendship. I love you. It's okay. It's okay. Court is adjourned. <laughs>